How y'all doing today? <clears throat> Thank you for coming back to Divinely Guided. Today's reading is going to be for the sign of Gemini. I kind of left them off last week. I kind of forgot. So, we're going to go ahead and pre-shuffle the cards. I have already staged them and meditated over the cards. So, if you just give me a moment to get them shuffled. And once again, this reading here is for the sign of Gemini. I don't like to read my cards in reverse, y'all. <clears throat> so, let's see. And I pop my nose upside down. I don't know. Unless it just comes out in reverse, I have to take it. But if I see it, I'm going to stop it. Divine Light, the highest order, and the protection of Archangel Michael. Divine Light, the highest order, and the protection of Archangel Michael. And by my spirit guides and Gemini spirit guides and guardian angels into this hidden system. Can we have any messages of love, career, finance, finance, or life messages just in general? Thank you in advance. Let's see y'all. Uh, Jim, now you showing up in your own reading. I see. <clears throat> Somebody couldn't have been, somebody, two people, probably like the opposites, wasn't really seeing eye to eye. Um, but you got tempers that's coming in that's going to balance y'all out. This is my um, reconciliation card coming in, balancing things, giving peace from within. And she's, con she's in control of the opposites. Um, I also see that a cycle has ended. It, it's, it's something that's destined to happen. It could have also been faded. And I also have here my lover's card. So I said you're showing up in your own reading. So something surrounding a union, a relationship, is it something, a, a cycle has ended. Balance and peace is coming within. Someone could be reconciling, coming back together. Um, I see communication working together um could be trying to start something new together so let's see let's clarify these cards let's see what we got going on wow this could be like a twin flame and a lot of things could have been happening around this relationship. Um, someone could have a high intuition. Um, could be learning something spiritually. Um, teaching something. Going back to school. Going to learning something on their own. Um, but I see cycles have ended. In this relationship, it looks like it's coming back. It's going to be balanced out. I see communication. I see it's been challenges here. Abundance. And what's crazy, someone could be psychic or having and knowing the high intuition. Could be learning something on a spiritual base. This relationship is is it's divinely guided. Yeah, someone could have came in and realized what it was that they wanted, and want to come in and offer their security, their loyalty, their love, but also they could. Probably not be so emotionally attached in a way too, but they hear and they want to kind of offer that to you. Let's 
Someone could have got down to the truth. The truth emerged. Clarity came. But it's trying to give you a, a new opportunity or a clear path for you. Someone could have been feeling like someone was being sneaky. And stealing something from them. Their joy, their happiness, something within that way. But I got success coming in. A lot of communication is coming in. Because it's like you're leaving something behind and you're moving you're moving to a more stillmate, like a more calm. Um, it's like y'all have learned your lesson. You have been awoken. And you're ready to communicate. Because you now you have clarity. And you're ready to come in with this partner. And try to work on things. Communicate things together. Success. You're looking for their peace and their harmony, their commitment, or that's what you're going for, or you have that now. But you 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 left those those trust issues, that worrying, that stress. You 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 had to leave that behind in order to go in and find something. Because we have cycles have ended. So whatever it is that y'all been going through, it's finna stop. It's a new season, y'all. <laughs> you got that clarity, the truth emerge. It's clearing a path for you. Something beginning. Cycles, yeah. Someone has really got that aha moment and realizing. Someone could have been like in solitude or dealing with the consequences of something, the repercussions of something. But you can, you're gaining your power back. You, you, you have decisions that could be made or you have already made a decision and you're ready to come in and communicate that. Yeah. You're leaving something behind. You move it to common waters. Yeah, I'm gonna clarify a couple more cards here just to see what we got going on. Yeah, somebody's ready to come in and offer something. They're ready to offer. Either through they can either begin ready to call, text, email. <clears throat> but they're gonna offer something. It's something that you want and you're gonna you're gonna it's something that you want yeah it's gonna lead to victory and success if it's a commitment and that harmony that peace that you're looking for you got it success is coming it's going you, you're being supported it's victory And also could be surrounding a new job, trying to start something. If you was planning a new project and you've been talking about it, it's going to be a success as well. But I see a lot of communication here. A lot of commitment, a foundation being built, things being balanced again. Twin flame connection. Y'all can feel like y'all have known each other in the past. Cycles are ending. Y'all coming together. Learning each other over again. Teaching each other new ways. Someone could be very spiritual here as well. Someone could have been hiding their spirituality. But now you ready to kind of communicate and tell about that. I'm kind of picking that up as well. But I see communication is coming in. And this union, this partnership is going to come back and it's going to be victorious. It's going to be success because you, you got a new beginning here because the truth emerged and you got clarity. And with that, that cycle is ending. Whatever that past you've been through. And I can't even say that it, it, it all been bad, but it wasn't balanced. So 
Let's see. I'm going to clarify one more card. And then I'm going to end the video. Yeah. <clears throat> Nurturing. Very beautiful. Somebody sees see someone beautiful. They know how to care themselves. They just... They think the world of you. Something. A person that's very creative. Mothery like. Just nurturing. They also. You could also be dealing with a, a Aries. I'm getting that very strong here too. But. This was my reading for my Gemini. If you feel like it resonated with you, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button for me. If it didn't resonate. But I want to thank y'all for coming to Divinely Guided. And I'll see you next week. Thank you.